Hey, it's Riyadh from Top Tech, and today we're going to talk about your new intercom system. First thing is making sure we have the correct app, uh, being able to pull up our email that we receive from our HOA or admin to, to load our credential, um, and then receiving a call from a visitor at the gate. You know, we will uh, do it on a Android for you guys, and we will do it on a iPhone. So now keep in mind, with your new gate access system, you are able to, uh, you know, unlock the gate for with a few methods, right? So you have your license plate camera, right? Your license plate that you submitted to your HOA or your admin, right? That will give you access to open the gate. But at times where visibility is low, uh, you know, it's raining, it's nighttime, and uh, you know, you got a lot of reflections. Um, you know, the single license plate camera is a little bit harder to pick up that license plate. So now what do we do? We're, well, we're stuck. Uh, yeah, you can enter your PIN. That's one way. But, you know, you got to open your door for the car. And, you know, it's, it's a whole mess, right, if it's raining. But if you have your Apple Watch or, you know, your cell, cell phone device, you can just simply unlock the gate you know, using your phone, right? Uh, uh, and then you also could unlock it with your face, right? That's if you're walking. Um, you know, if you're walking and you don't have your phone or, or anything like that, and you just go up to the camera, and once it recognizes your face, you now have access to your gate or door, right? So, so keep that in mind. You got three days. You got 72 hours once you get invited by your HOA or admin to accept that or you've got a request for another invite right so uh, be sure to do that quickly um, so i'm going to go ahead and send that invite to my uh to myself here so i can show you guys how that works launch the app store on our apple devices and then we're going to launch the play store on our android devices right for those of us who have that device so let's go ahead and launch that and what we're going to search here it's called Identity Endpoint, okay? And it's by Unify, right? Um, so we're going to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and type that in. Identity Endpoint. Okay, here's going to be a picture of them here, what they look like on Apple and iPhone. I mean, a a Apple and Android, right? And um, we've got, it is created by... Ubiquity. So let's go ahead and install that. We'll give that a second to it. go ahead and install. We get a little smoothie break. And it's done. All right. So now that we can just go ahead and open the application and just make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. And we're going to allow any notifications as well because this will allow the application to send you a notification saying that, hey, you know, you have something from this app, app, you know, respond to it, right? So allow that. Okay, now it's saying welcome to Unify Identity, smart door access, one click Wi-Fi. Great, now let's go ahead and pull up that email that was received, right? The, with the inv invitation from your HOA or your admin. So let's go ahead and pull that up. No, it tells welcome, and you're going to go ahead and say uh, load my credential, which is underneath that blue icon that says click here to install endpoint because we've already got it installed, right? So load your credential, load your credential, loading your credential on the device, and you will hit allow for GPS and allow for notifications. And there you have it you now have access to unlock this gate, right? And then not only that, you click the gear icon, you can hit face photo. I already got my face registered, but this is where you're gonna register your face, right? And once your face is registered, you'll be able to have the face unlock. We're gonna tap on the device and just hit allow any uh, 
anything that it's asking for uh, allow while using the app of course and this one also needs permission as well on the Android we're gonna hit only this time allow okay so now you can click on them and you can see that you have access to the main gate right and this where this is where you will uh, be able to unlock that gate if for whatever reason the license plate camera is not not recognizing you and you don't want to enter your pin right so uh, nice quick tutorial but now we're gonna dive in to okay what happens now if there's a visitor right if there's a visitor at the uh, the gate so now at the gate the visitor is going to come up to our intercom they're gonna tap on our directory and they're gonna tap on the name that they would like to call right now based on the phone number right that you submitted to the HOA you'll receive a call you know it sounds like this and it looks like this and it will say uh, for you to press 1 to talk to the person but at any time you can press star and that would unlock the gate okay that is your your means of accessing the gate so I hope you enjoy your new system uh, the ubiquity's intercom system it is fairly new in my opinion um, and it's got some kinks to work out but compared to door king and all of these older uh, you know I'll call them legacy or traditional brands that have been making access control systems for quite some time uh, ubiquity provides a great alternative and I've been dealing with license plate cameras for a long time and this is the first time that I'm like I feel so comfortable handing over uh, you know a system to uh, HOA or, or a group of uh, board members I'm comfortable like hey I could do main little maintenance on these items and it's not gonna cost the user the homeowner HOA the owners a lot of money to uh, not only to maintain the system because all of these other systems carry that subscription fee right you have a huge subscription fee monthly uh, with LiftMaster, and Cellgate all of these companies want to pay make you pay per user I mean don't forget to like subscribe and if you have any other questions please comment them below and I'll be sure to answer them thank you